<laughs> no, no, I've never done this before. Uh, and I've never even seen it in person before. So this is going to be most entertaining because they are getting suited up. And by suit, I mean, this is a literal suit of armor. Tony Hodges here all the way from Australia to go jousting. That's right. Um, yeah, I was lucky enough to be invited by Charlie Andrews out here for, uh, for the Sonora Celtic Fair. And so the Sonora Celtic Fair is not this weekend, but next weekend. Right, yeah, Today yeah. we're out here in El Grove. Uh, you guys are doing a little exhibition for us. So I didn't even know jousting was still a thing, to be honest with you, other than one of those dinner places where people go for entertainment. But this is real jousting. This is the real deal. This is, this is hurting. <laughs> and, and, and right now, you, you gave me a, sec, a moment ago to touch your armor here, to carry your armor. I mean, this chest plate alone has got to be, I, I know you do things in kilos. Do you have any idea in pounds what this is? Oh, I still say if you pay me in pennies and pounds, like talking pounds, you pay me in pennies and pounds. So, um, look, I, I'm not sure. It's it's roughly um, the cuirass and and shield on the front would be roughly 20 odd kilos. And I, I, someone over there was saying the whole suit is roughly 130 pounds. Um, and then you've got this joust. So. Uh, I, I don't even know what to do. So, and then your helmet, uh, the, the lance, excuse me. I, I'm, gonna get my, I'm new here, okay? Show me the helmet as well. There's a helmet. Yeah, and you don't just go down to Sportsman's Warehouse and buy one of these. No, you've got to have these sorts of things specially made by somebody that makes armor, uh, blacksmith or something along those lines. Can we see what you look like in it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> and then we're going to get a lesson on how to hold the, the, the lance. The lance. All right, here we go. So he's got his helmet going on there. Look at this, you guys. Look at the, look at the um, field of view that uh, Tony has here once he closes things up. It's like looking at a letterbox. That's a letterbox for the Americans out there. <laughs> I thought he was saying letterbox earlier. <laughs> like, I've never looked out of a letterbox before. Hope never to. All right. There you go. So that's, your, that, that's where you're looking from. That's my line of vision, yeah. And, and what are you focusing on when you're on a horse, barreling down the, what do you call it? What do you, is it the chute? What do you call it's it? The tilt. It's called We're going down the tilt now, and you're going at full tilt. And what are you what are you looking at? Actually, that's exactly where it's come from. Um, so yeah, so you run down the tilt, and really you can't see much at all. So the only thing you can really do is focus on the um, on the other person's shield, and just focus on your target, and just go down a tube, and hope that you don't see the white gates at the end of it. The white gates. All right. Well, here's your lance. So now demonstrate the proper technique of the lance, and and I, you guys always start with it up in the air. Why? It starts up in the air. Obviously, when it's up and down like that, it's not too heavy. Um, and then when you go to lower it down, it, it turns into sort of five kilos into sort of 15 quite quickly. That's heavy. Yeah. So all you do is couch under your armpit, you hold it up. And then as you bring it down, you can uh, sort of put it there. And you'll see here on the front of my armor, there's a, what's called an arete, which is like a hook. And that hook here, I can let go of that, and that sort of stays there. But, but, um, the idea of that is it hooks onto what we call a grappa. And you lock that into the front of your shield and you can use your body to push into that. But on the opposite side, it also pushes you back, which is where you can end up on your hind end. And that happens. It sure does, yeah. All right, well this morning you're gonna use, I, I gotta try this thing. Can I hold this? I just wanna see what it feels like to hold one of these things. Yep, you said, uh, it, gets heavy. it gets heavy real quick and then trying to aim this thing at somebody. Right. So uh, so next weekend out at the uh, the Celtic Fair in Sonora. Yes, that's right. So that's, and, and it's, it's uh, it's a full full contact jousting, so it's used with solid lances, okay. um, no holes barred. That's where we're going to get nailed. That's where we're going to finish up on our backsides. All right. I mean, this is the real deal. This is not for show. They get thrown on their backs off the horses, and we're going to get a little demonstration here earlier this morning. So, or later this morning, I imagine on the news at noon, you can see some of the highlights as the natives here are getting restless over there in their pens. We'll send it back to you guys. They're looking at you like, are you going to ride it or what? <laughs> you going to exactly. do it? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You know it's heavy if you're struggling a little bit. <laughs> That's awesome.